Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to create interact user from Google Sheets rows. So here, let's say that I have the details of my clients or customers in my Google Sheets, like name, email, and the phone number. So here I want that whenever I add a new row in my Google Sheets regarding the details of my clients or customers, then I want to create that client or customer as a user in Interact. So here to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using Pabli Connect, where my trigger application will be Google Sheets and my action application will be Interact. So to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to create interact user from Google Sheets rows. So here, let's say that I have the details of my clients or customers in Google Sheets, like phone number, name and email. Now here I want whenever I add the details of a new customer or client, then I want to add that client or customer as a user in interact. Now this can be done by using Pabli Connect, which is an amazing integration and automation software. So as an existing user, I will sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So here as an existing user, I will sign in. Now this is the all applications page by Pabli. I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. And now in this dialog box appearing, I will give my workflow a name and here I have named it as create interact user from Google Sheets rows. And over here on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders that I've created. So I want to create this workflow in the folder named as interact. Now I will simply click on create. As I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Basically trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire integration and automation will depend. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple actions. Now moving to my use case, that is to create interact user from Google Sheets rows. So as I have the details of my customers or clients in Google Sheets, so here in my trigger window, I'm going to search for Google Sheets and here it is. After selecting the trigger application as Google Sheets and now the trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row. That means this trigger will start working whenever a new row will be added or updated. So I'm selecting it. Now over here, a webhook URL is given and along with that, a help desk is given. So read this help desk given carefully because this will help you to connect your Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So this webhook URL will act as a bridge in connecting Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. Now I will take you to my Google Sheets. So here, this is the Google Sheet that I have created. The name of this Google Sheet is Interact Spreadsheet. And here it has three columns. One is of phone number, another one is of name, and the third one is of email. So here, these are the details of my clients or customers. So now to connect Pabli Connect with Google Sheets. So here I will go to Extensions. And now in extensions, you need to have this Pabli Connect Webhooks extension. If you don't have it, you can go to add-ons and here in the search bar, you can search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. So here you can see that I have already installed this extension of Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now I will close this and again, I will go to extensions and I will now go to Pabli Connect Webhooks and I will click on initial setup. So now here in this initial setup, I need to mention the webhook URL and a trigger column. So here you can see that there is only one sheet in my Google Sheets. So here it is mentioned sheet one. Moving to the webhook URL, so I will go back to Pabli Connect, copy the webhook URL. And now I will paste the same webhook URL over here and moving to the trigger column. So trigger column is the final data column of your sheet. So over here as C will be my trigger column. So here I'm going to mention it. So here I've selected my trigger column and now I will click on submit. And here you can see that setup configured successfully. I will close this. So now I will click on the send on event. So now whenever a new row will be added in this Google sheet, then automatically that details will be added in Pabli Connect. So over here, I'm going to click on send on event. And now here I'm going to mention a dummy phone number and here it goes. Here is the dummy phone number. Now here I will give a dummy name. 
So here I have mentioned the name and now I will mention a dummy email that will be as current user at the rate pablitudes.com and now I have mentioned these details and here in Pabli Connect I have received the response. Here you can see the trigger column, here you can see the spreadsheet name, here you can see the spreadsheet ID along with the sheet name and here you can see the details of my client or customer. Here's the phone number, name and the email. So that means the details which I've added in my Google Sheets is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So now whenever a new row will be added in my Google Sheets, then automatically the details of that lead will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. This trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So here I have completed the first step of this automation. That means now whenever a new row will be added in my Google Sheets, then automatically the details will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So now I will go to my action window and over here as I want to create an interact user. So here in my action window, I'm going to search interact as my action application. And now the action event will be to create or update user. This will help me to create a user and in interact. So here I'm selecting it. And now I need to establish a connection between interact and public connect. So I will simply click on connect. Now, if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection. So to add a new connection, you need to mention the secret key. Now I will take you to my interact account and over here, I will go to my profile and in profile, I will go to developer setting. So this here is the API key given. So I will simply copy it. And now over here in public connect, I'm going to paste it and I will click on save. So here you can see that interact is successfully connected with public connect. Now moving to country code, phone number and the full phone number. Now read this important note. It is mandatory to give a value for either full phone number or for both phone number and country code. So over here in country code, if you have got the number without the country code, then you need to mention the country code over here and the phone number here. But if you have the phone number along with the country code, then you need to mention the phone number in this full phone number field. So here as I've got the full phone number, so I'm going to map the phone number from the response received. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step. So from here, I'm going to map the phone number that is along with the country code. But here the plus sign is missing. So over here, I'm going to add the plus sign. So here is the full phone number and I've mentioned it. Moving to the user traits. So user traits are the key values that you can add over here in this field. So here, if you want to add the name, email, age or other traits of your customer or client, you can do that. So over here, you need to follow this proper format to mention the user traits. So as I want to mention the name and email, so firstly, I'm copying this and I'm going to paste it over here. I'm going to remove this name and from the response received, I'm going to map the name of my customer or client. So here is the name as current use. I have mapped it. So now moving ahead, I want to mention the email as well. So I will simply copy this email as well from here and I'm going to paste it over here in the same format. And now I will remove this email and I'm going to map the email from the response received. And here I have mapped it. So make sure while mentioning the user traits, you also follow the same format. So moving to tags, if you want to add tags like priority, opportunity or etc, you can do that. But as of now, I'm going to leave this field blank. So here this method of mapping is very important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data can be taken over here. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So now I will simply click on save and send test request. And now I've received the response and it is a positive response. Now I will take you to my interact account. So here in users, you can see that a new user is created by the name of current user. Here is the contact number. You can see that the contact number is along with the country code. Here you can see the email and as I've not mentioned any tags, so it is blank. And here is the created on date. 
So that means this user is successfully created here. So this integration and automation was a successful one. Now, whenever a new row will be added in Google Sheets, then automatically by using the same details, a user will be created and interact. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.